Hey guys, welcome back to another Gaming Memories video. Here we are taking a look at a very rare game by the name of Overdriven Skyline Memorial that was developed by Electronic Arts in collaboration with Nissan back in 1997. Essentially this is the Need for Speed game that you may never have heard of. As at the time the Need for Speed franchise was starting to pick up in pace in terms of its popularity. The first Need for Speed game had gotten multiple ports on different versions of consoles and personal computers PCs back in the 90s and with the success of the game Nissan wanted to create its own version of the game to celebrate the anniversary of the Skyline at that time so they got in contact with Electronic Arts and they managed to put together a collaboration to be able to develop the game that you see in front of you. Now from first look at this game essentially when you're looking at it it is quite simply a reskinned version of the original Need for Speed game but the main difference is being that the cars that were in the original game are completely replaced with all Nissan cars all pretty much versions of the Skylines from the early days of the Skyline all the way to the modern equivalent which was the R33 GTR at that point back in 1997 but they also changed the look and the, the feel of the cars and even down to the in-car views with the dashes and the interiors of the, each of the cars from those time periods as well so it definitely was authentic to what they were trying to do with the game and one of the unique things about this game is that this game is very rare and it was only released in Japan only which means that a lot of gamers out there may not even know that this game even exists for the most part. A lot of the elements and core features from the original game have been reused for this version but on top of that there has also been a few hidden extras and alternatives thrown into the mix again with alongside the new cars there are also some additional tracks thrown in that are very very different from what was in the original game like I mentioned the game pretty much is a reskinned version of the original Need for Speed it's not breaking any new grounds at the time it was very different and unique but Need for Speed was that popular that it was very very easy to use this platform to be able to make this version of the game because it was so successful. The only downside like I mentioned is the fact is that the game only got a release in the Japanese region so we never seen it outside of Japan so it leaves that a lot of people probably don't even know what it is let alone that this game even exists to the most part but it leaves us that for collectors out there that are really big into the racing games and are even collectors of PlayStation games, this is something that would be worth looking into. The gameplay elements involved are the same as what was in the original game. The gameplay is very fast, very frantic and does have a steep learning curve. The computer AI can be difficult to defeat. You do need to have your wits about you and to be consistent and to have patience when getting involved in races so that you can maintain your position to have a chance of winning because the races do happen thick and fast and for the most part if you do make a mistake the AI opponents will be passing you very very quickly and it's very very hard for you then to catch up with the rest of the race if not at all so you'll find yourself more often than not restarting the game to try it again and this has always been kind of the thing with the need for speed games more so the early games where the learning curve was quite steep especially for beginners but if you're a fan of the franchise and you are looking for something that is very unique and quite rare to find and you are a big fan of the need for speed franchise in general this is a game that is worth checking out just to, for that nostalgia hit and just to see the differences between it and the original game like I mentioned all the cars have been replaced with all new sand cars from different eras of the skyline throughout the cars history and I would love to know your thoughts on this game if you played it or did you even know that this version of Need for Speed even existed I'd love to hear your thoughts so be sure to share it down in the comments below and if you have enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more of these unique style videos where I do reviews and gameplay videos on more unique quirky and very rare games that were released on the PlayStation especially in Japan then be sure to leave a like on the video also make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to be updated when future videos are released 
Also be sure to check out some of the other videos on the channel where I have provided other reviews and gameplay videos of similar games that were released back in the day on the PlayStation where I share my thoughts and experience with everyone. So as always, make sure to keep playing those classic games and enjoying them and keep those gaming memories alive.